I'm Melanie McQuaid and you're watching Race Girl Television. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Pearl Izumi E-Motion running shoe. I've been testing these shoes over the past four months and um, the shoe is relatively new to Canada so I know a lot of stores up here are just starting to get them into stock and I thought I would share with you some of my thoughts on the shoe and um, help you to make your decision. So starting with the shoe that I ran in first, um, which was the tri shoe. Now E-Motion actually stands for efficient motion and that that speaks to the way that they've actually um, shaped the the sole of the shoe and the idea is that uh, you get more efficient uh, motion transfer when you have a shoe in this shape. The shoe is really comfortable I really appreciate the fact that it's a relatively flat sole um, without a lot of you know, posting and gadgets and chunks here and there. Um, I think that the shape of this sole is quite... The cool. shoes that I've been running in have all been the N designation and, and so there's an N1 and there's an N2, there's the M version, there's the H version. And N basically stands for a neutral shoe and although I'm not a perfect runner, I do have a neutral foot and so really all I'm going to talk about today are the neutral shoes as those are the ones I have the most experience in. So. We're going to talk about uh, first this shoe, which is um, the Tri N1. And this shoe, I uh, had trouble with the fact that the entire last is elasticized. As you can see, like it comes with its own elastic laces and uh, the whole upper of the shoe, there is no tongue, it's all just elastic. And so um, this shoe ended up being too tight no matter what I did on my foot. So um, I struggled with this shoe. So even though I think it's uh, in our nature as triathletes to gear ourselves towards the triathlon shoe, um, in the end, the better shoe for me turned out to be the road shoe. This is the road N1, and this shoe has seen a lot of and races. All I did was put my own elastic laces in, but um, in using my own, I could choose how tight different areas of the, the last were on my foot, and that ended up working out better for me. So I run actually, I race in the um, N1 road shoe. The N1 versus basically the N2, which has also seen a lot of miles, um, you can see that uh, the offset of the shoe is different. So this shoe has a four millimeter offset, which is like this part versus this part. It's a four millimeter drop in the shoe. This shoe only has a one millimeter drop. But what I have run in mostly recently has been the trail shoe. Now for all of you Xterra people in the crowd, you all want to know what the trail shoe is like. Um, and both the N1 and the N2 trail shoe are fantastic. Both are about the same weight, so there's not a lot of penalty if you choose to have a little bit more um, sole underneath you. Uh, this also has a four millimeter drop for the N2 and a one millimeter for the N1. So some people like an extra flat sole because they feel they have better proprioception in the trails. So you might choose the N1 for that. But there really is no weight penalty if you cho chose like a burlier shoe because it's rocky or anything like that. Um, as you can see, I have this one all set up with my foot pod and I've actually done a lot of running on the trails, so I run in a trail shoe quite a bit. So, um, and this shoe is not very heavy, like it, it's, it is a bit heavier than, than the N2 road shoe, but not, not so much that I wouldn't choose the shoe for a speed session or something like that. Um, and both shoes are really quite comfy, they have really, really good, um, uh, cushioning in the right place under your forefoot. Uh, the trail shoe actually has a rock plate under it so if you're actually running on really rocky terrain then you'll end up having protection from uh, uh, bruising underneath the ball of your feet. The tongue of these shoes and, and the, the last that is in the shoe actually has um, perforated foam or something like that so like the shoe itself really drains well which um, for those of us that are triathletes, or even if you're a trail runner and you run a lot uh, in you know, trail races that are wet, um, that's definitely a consideration for making sure your feet are comfy on race day. So that's the Pearl Izumi E-Motion shoe line. It's a, it's a great product and uh, I really appreciate uh, having all these shoes to choose from for my training. Happy run training, see you next time.